Okay, we're here at 804 West Mount Drive here in West Hollywood. We're running our camera from a clean out that's located all the way in the back in the guest house, like water in the heaters. little water heater room. It's like an end of a line clean out. And uh, we run our camera all the way out to the city connection in the middle of the street, about 150 feet away. That's the city sewer out there in the street. Now we're going to pull our camera back. Looks like we do have a clay pipe over here that looks like it's in pretty good condition here. This is running in the street. Now right over, uh, you do have some roots there. Right over, oh, you can see it's, that's a coupling, was it? A coupling. Yeah. So right over there, right at the curb, five and a half feet deep, we do have some roots coming in. And uh, it then comes now uh, let me be, let me just say that there's a very huge ficus trees over here in the vicinity and even on the property now somebody done a lining over here a cured in place pipe lining uh, as of today this looks okay uh, it looks like it's in good condition but linings are just temporary fixes especially if roots are in involved especially with ficus tree so there's no telling how long this lining is really going to last for it's just a temporary fix and um, because it doesn't really stop roots from growing so uh, in the street the pipe looked okay right at the curb where the lining stopped there obviously is some roots coming in they could probably be maintained problem is you cannot snake a pipe that's got a lining in it because you'll damage the lining and a hydro jetting will possibly damage the end of the lining so linings in my uh, my opinion are just a temporary fix coming back from here and we're now inside of the property we've got ABS plastic and this is the main line that we're checking we cannot check every pipe in the house you're obviously going to have the general inspector check underneath the house but the main line the ABS plastic main line running all the way in the front yard coming underneath the house it all looks like it's in pretty good condition so far I think we should locate that over there. See, there's a little bit of roots coming through there. Yeah, they are. Okay, so this we've located underneath the house uh, in the kitchen area. You can see that's a very poorly installed coupling over there because you've got roots coming into it. They probably used a cheap rubber band. That's no good. It's underneath the house. Now, as we come back, this is where the back bathroom ties in, right here. And then as it comes back, goes to clay piping. See how also it's sunk down over there. Now this we've also located underneath the house. Obviously they built that, that on over there and this is clay pipe. You're not allowed to have clay pipe under the structure. So this is, needs to go. Coming back from here, we've got pretty heavy roots in this clay pipe. Now it's probably coming outside. There's a clean out outside of the house also sunk down a little bit very poorly installed comes back heavy roots here roots coming in now this over here also sunk down a little bit definitely got a little bit of a belly in the line over there it's abs plastic that right no that's clay, that's clay. all right so that we've located underneath the concrete slabs out there. So you've either got two things to do here. You can either put a two-way clean out and maintain it periodically or replace it, although that clay pipe under the house needs to go. Probably the best thing is to just to replace all that over there, get rid of the clay pipe. Coming back now, we're going to have cast iron pipe. Getting a little old. Does have a little bit of rust buildup. 
you definitely don't want to be <coughs> flushing tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. But this doesn't look too bad. Now remember, we're checking the main line. out of this clean out here right in the back in this water heater room and we'll stop the recording over here